Creating text out of photos is a common technique used by designers and others, for example, when they're creating ads for different products and even websites and brochures. Today I'm going to go over a quick technique on how to do this and even using two photos with two different clipping masks if your design will call for that. First thing you want to do is go ahead and open up a photo that has a nice background, uh, maybe a sunset or kind of a water scene like this, something that has color in the background that will fill a text. First step you want to do is select the type tool, the T on the tools palette, click and let go, and I'm just going to type in a word, uh, let's just say boat, all right, and cl click and drag that corner there if you just clicked, um, or you can of course select it like so and change the size up there. If you don't see the bounding box around here, just make sure Show Transform Controls is selected. Uh, you want a thick font, so I'm going to change this to Impact. And make it a little bit larger here. And you can put it over whichever area you think you would be relevant for the effect. And you can even distort it if you want to make it a little bit taller just slightly. Alright, so I'll cover a bigger area. Go ahead and hit enter to apply those resizes. And make sure you double click on the background layer. Click OK. That'll make it a normal layer that you can move above other layers. And all you do is move that photo layer above the text layer in the layers palette. If you don't see this, just go to window layers. And what you're going to do is hold down alt on the PC or option on the Mac and just hover your mouse in between those two layers there and just left click All right, then it'll create that effect and you can still move that background like I can here you can see or you can move the text around as well and that text is still editable so if you press the T tool the type tool and click and drag over you can change the text. All right. Now, what if you wanted to use two photos? Uh, well, what you can do is I'm going to just bring another photo out here, click and drag it off that background. I'm going to just click and drag it over into the other photo area. All right. And what we want to do is make sure it's not also a clipping mask, like so. So I'm just going to drag it below the other two. So that's just a normal layer. It's almost like the background of that one, right? So all I do is create a new text layer. So I'm going to type in leaves. And I'm going to resize this as well with the move tool. Click and drag the corner like so. And I'm just going to press enter after I resize it a little bit larger enter and then again move that below that other photo layer and then hold down alt and click and drag and then we have two clipping masks All right, you can move this one around and it just shows up anywhere on the artboard or the palette there um, move the text around same thing and the boat one is on top because it's on top up here. You could move those two together below the other two if you wanted to move one in front of the other. The last step is if you want to preview how this would look with a normal background, just click the create new layer icon, drag it to the bottom so it's not a clipping mask. Uh, it doesn't have anything applied to it. It's just a transparent layer on the bottom by itself. And I have the backgrounds set to white so just do control backspace or command delete on the Mac. Then it'll give you it'll uh, shortcut to fill that layer with the white there. So then you can still move the text around and for whatever kind of effect that you're going for. And you can also move the background too. So that's how you create a layer clipping mask using text so that you can create text that's made up of photos. Thank you.